And it's so good to be here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, I appreciate you. And of course, don't forget, this is Saffron Media. And we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable and authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. And remember that Nigeria and the government are still battling with the ban of on Twitter in Nigeria. And I remember that some of the uh, big uh, clerics, the Christian clerics, actually spoke about, uh, you know, the ban. And I remember that Pastor E. E. Adibuye said that he was uh, going to continue using Twitter, that uh, it is the right of Nigerians to actually express their views in whatever way they feel. But, of course, you know, what's the government? And also Kumuyi also said uh, that uh, it was wrong of the government to ban Twitter. But that was not just it. Now the government has said that they are going to persecute uh, Adeboye, Kumuye, El Rafai and others who said they were going to continue tweeting. Remember they said anyone found using the app Twitter is actually going to be persecuted. But, well, I believe... Uh, this is one war that I'm not sure who is exactly going to win. Anyway, guys, more details I'll bring to you about this. But please ensure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell. Ensure you like and also share our video. Okay, guys, without further ado, let us dive right into the details of this report. As it says, Twitter ban Adeboye Kumuyi El Rafa. Others will be persecuted, federal government says. The federal government of Nigeria has insisted that the Attorney General and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami would ensure that Nigerians who assess Twitter after the imposition of a ban on would be on, on, on the ban would be prosecuted. It was reported that Nigeria's Minister of Informa Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, stated this in an interview with BBC Africa Focus on Monday. When asked if the redeemed pastor E.A. Adeboye will be persecuted for using Twitter, Alai Muhammad emphasized that the persistent use of Twitter in Nigeria is undermining the country's corporate existence. The government has suspended indefinitely the operations of Twitter in Nigeria because of the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence and the government. Also directed the National Broadcasting Commission to immediately commence the process of licensing all social media operations in Nigeria, he said. The Attorney General has made it clear that if anyone violates the regulation, that such person will be prosecuted. I think it is the right of the Attorney General to decide who to prosecute, he added. And there were reports that Pastor E. E. Adeboe had justified his insistence on using the platform with Article 19 of the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights, UDHR. Article 19 of the UDHR states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek and receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. Aside from Adeboye, the founder of Deeper Life Church, W.F. Kumuyi, has also insisted that his church would not respect the federal government's ban on Twitter use because its Twitter handle reaches a global audience. Also, uh, uh, Governor Shaggy Makinde of Oyo State and Nasir Arafat of Cardinal State had also published statements on Twitter ban des on Twitter despite the ban. So obviously, the government is actually going to fight. A lot of people because of this uh, ban on Twitter in Nigeria. I don't know how long they are going to be able to hold on to this, but I just think uh, this is one of the ways that they've openly, you know, since they've been doing all of this, they've been suppressing the voices of Nigerians and, uh, you know, people do not know. But this is one that has actually shown to the world how these guys have been oppressing and suppressing the voices of Nigerians. And, you know, they don't want people to speak. They don't want to be criticized. They don't want anyone to talk down on the government and 
their performances. But the truth is, as a government, you should wait for people to criticize you, whether they do it constructively or not. Because it shows that you are doing well or you are not doing well. And if nobody is criticizing you, that means they are lying to you. So obviously, I believe the government should learn how to accept criticism so that they can know and get solutions on how to push the world forward. Because if they continue like this, it's only going to make them to be stagnant. That is why we are even faced with insecurity. Remember last year how uh, NSAS protesters were killed in the faces of so many people, and yet our government denied it. So there's nothing they cannot deny. Now they have banned Twitter. And these are things that Nigerians have seen coming. Because I can remember a tweet that a lady tweeted about uh, uh, 2014. She said, if Nigerians vote Buhari into government, that first and foremost, one thing that Nigerians are going to face is that they will be banned on a lot of things, that it will be one of the greatest mistakes that Nigerians have ever made. That first thing that will go is Twitter. And after Twitter goes, that even there will now become a dress code in Nigeria. And they will also ban, you know, she said a lot of things. And, you know, it just seemed like she's seeing the future because exactly what she said are the things that are beginning to manifest are the things that are already happening in Nigeria today. So obviously there are things that people have already seen about this government that people know about Buhari and they have said it before. And look where we are today. Exactly how some of these people predicted is exactly what we are facing today. So really, these guys have an agenda to destroy the people of Nigeria. Because even when they are seeing the truth in the eyes, they tell people, no, this is not the truth, it is a lie. When they see a particular color, they see a white, they will tell you this is red. And you know, how can a government, what kind of a, an economy can grow in, in the midst of lies? No economy can grow like that. Because now, uh, they are saying Twitter has lost a lot of money. Agreed. What about the young Nigerians that are making money from that same platform? Now, the government does not have an idea of, you know, uh, giving jobs to young Nigerians. And yet, the little that they have created for, for themselves, you are still taking it away from them. That is also destroying the economy. And at the end of the day, some of those guys will begin to go into crime. And there will be more crime in the country. Perhaps that is what they want. Because 2023 is by the corner. And if there is no election by 2023, nat naturally in the constitution, the government that is still in would continue. That is what the constitution says. So definitely it means that Buhari wants to extend its government perhaps through insecurity, because the insecurity now has spread almost to every part of the nation. And we are just in 2021, and 2023 is about two years from now. So we don't know what is going to happen before the end of this year. We don't know what's going to happen next, next year. Perhaps it would have become a full-blown war that this administration will have to extend. And we don't pray for that. We are not hoping for that. So you can see they have their agenda. But the thing is, I hope Nigerians would not even try to help them actualize this as this agenda that it has. So my dear people, that is it. I hope uh, you uh, have something to say about this. Please drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.